Hi everybody, Ben here from Artless Ordinary. So I wanted to do a placemat and I really love my pearl paws and I thought I would like to try a placemat pearl paw. I haven't quite decided what type of placemats I wanted yet so I thought if I do a pearl paw then I'll see what it looks like and know if that's what I actually want for my, my dining table. So I picked out similar colours to what I've used before which is 24k gold, lavender frost, pink tourmaline, and aquamarine. These are all, um, where are they? They're all extreme sheen paints. Extreme sheen, this isn't the right one. I've put them aside. So um, they're mixed one part paint to one part Australian flow troll. So I've mixed them up, I've given them a really good stir, and now I'm just going to try and layer them in a very haphazard way. I don't want them to be puddled or layered or anything, I just want the paint to be there. Just checking consistency a little bit. Sometimes they thicken up a little bit after you've done it. It's the gold that I'm more concerned about. I think the gold is slightly thick. It's a little bit hard to know. I'm just going to add the tiniest little bit to that one. Yeah, that feels a little bit more even. It's not always easy to know which way it's going to go. So, and the way that you layer these will affect how it looks. So, we're going to go a little bit of gold. Still felt thick. Then some lavender. I do want to try and have the middle covered. So now that one feels thick that I'm pouring it. When you're making up small amounts like this, sometimes it's hard to tell. See, and that one didn't feel thick at all. Now we're going to go the rest of the gold. Now I used 7 grams of paint and 7 grams of float troll for this sized canvas. Well placemat. It is just a wooden board. Just brought it as a painted placemat from a department store. Relatively cheap. But I have, I have done a pour on these before, um, not a pearl pour, but a normal pour, and they worked quite well. So, yeah, this one is thicker, the pink. So when I was doing the pink, I actually knocked the cup over before I started mixing, and I think I lost more flow troll out of it than I thought. But now it's on... Just have to go with the flow. I probably have a little bit more paint than I um, pearl paint than I needed, but it's hard to do less than um, seven grams. Really, it's hard to even do seven grams. Just the size of it can be a little bit challenging.
Okay, and the black is 26, no, 27 grams paint, 54 grams Floetrol, and 11 grams of water. Before I pour that on, I'm gonna get my gloves ready. So I wasn't sure how much how much um, of the black paint I needed. It's not as easy to do um, without the ratio for a round canvas, and it's getting a little bit late. I, my brain wasn't going to start doing maths with pi and all that to get the circumference of a circle and work it out so I just did half of what I would normally do if I was doing the um, 16 by 12 canvas so I'm going to try and pull this on very gently because I don't want it to want there to be pearls in the center if as well if I can So when I do pearl pours, I do not scrape my cup. I find there becomes inconsistencies in the black when I scrape and I end up getting a slightly different discoloration in the center. Now, I'm actually going to swirl this around as if I was doing a normal circle canvas, which is a little bit different to how I would normally do a pearl pour. Now I'm going to start going over the edges. Sorry if I have the canvas tilted away so you can't see. Have I covered all sides? I think I have. Just a little bit more swirling. Okay. Now I'm going to bring the paint weight back to the middle. There shouldn't be too much excess paint on here. I can't quite see where the paint is cent centralized. So hopefully that's it. Now I'm going to get my fingers underneath only and just run them around the edge to wipe off that excess paint. So not the sides, but just the underneath part. Okay. Pearls are appearing. So time to remove my gloves. So the temperature has cooled down a little bit. So my paints are thickening up a little bit. I don't know if that is going to make a difference or not. Only time will tell. So I'm going to give this a uh, torch. Okay, so I didn't really want to do too much. I just wanted to get rid of those bubbles and hopefully 
watch and see these pearls up here. So all the sides have got pearls on them and the whole border does as well. Now is just the test to see how many pearls come up in the center. So being a placemat, I don't actually mind if there's a bit of a black center as long as the edges all kind of get pearls. That's really what I'm just hoping for because my plate's going to be on it half the time anyway. So it's this is just a little bit of fun to see how it all turns out. Now, because it's a pearl pour, I have to wait. As I can see, more and more are appearing. Um, is my canvas dripping? No. So it looks like it is pretty level. So now I'm just going to have to pause it and come back soon and see what has actually appeared. So pausing. All right, so it's probably been a good 10 minutes, maybe slightly longer. More pearls have definitely um, come up to the surface. It does seem to be a little bit more heavier on this side than the other side, but again, uh, don't mind. This is what I like when you do fluid art. You don't always know what you're going to expect. So I did notice that when I did these in the past on the canvases, some of these um, inner ones did grow for probably about half an hour. But not a lot. They just expanded in size a little bit more. So I'm quite happy with this. If I get a little bit more, a bonus. If I don't get any more, I'm pretty cool. I'm quite happy. There is a good assortment of colours. So swirling around has kind of mixed them a lot more than I was expecting. I do sometimes wonder if my table is perfectly level. I don't really have any drips coming off any side in particular. I don't really have any drips coming off at all. But I do continue to scrape because this is going to be on a flat surface. So I just want to make sure there isn't any drip, any drips there. If you do get drips there, then you can always sand them because they're on the back of the canvas. It's not really going to make um, a difference, but you can sand them once it's dry. But I got pinks, purples, blues, yellow, a um, couple of patches over here of the gold. Well, so the yellow is the gold. So the golds come through in, in patches. It seems to be a little bit more blue than the other colours. Um, I think it's not always easy to tell um, until you actually see it once it's dried but this here is using the same colors I'm just gonna hold this over the top this is using the same colors when I did the um, this is the leftover paint from my little um, 3d pour which is the one pearl pour which does have the same colors in it so I am quite happy with the way that this should dry, quite similar to this. The only difference is being on a piece of wood, you do actually get a little bit of the wood grain show once it is dried and it has flattened out. At the moment, the paint's still raised because it's wet, but I'm really, really happy. So if this is on my dining table, I'm going to be quite thrilled. I do need to do some coasters. I think they're going to be a challenge um, because of how small they are. But if you look over here, these are the bits that have been poured off. And they're covered in pearls. So I may just be able to put some coasters down and as I'm tilting the canvas, actually pour some of it onto those coasters. And hopefully that will give me my, my coasters for my dining table. But I love colours, I love nice and bright because my house is predominantly grey. So the bright colours kind of give a standout. So if these are, are, are placemats on my grey dining table, well, my table is actually wood. But I'm going to have like a grey runner running through it. And I think these will actually be that pop of colour that it kind of needs and, and will look good in there. So I am going to bring you down for a close up. Okay, so here we go. 
the lighting does alter the colours slightly because um, it makes them come out a little bit more silvery because the light's reflecting off the mica. But as you can see, a whole big assortment of colours down here, even up there. There's the blues, there's the golds. I'll take you in for a close-up of that. Yeah, the lighting's still reflecting a lot, so they're, they're coming out very washed out, but they're actually very bright. And it goes all the way around. This is probably the easiest part to see is this end. So I've got colours in colours. Quite pleased with this. Let's go back up, focus. There we go. So this is my um, placemat. So um, a pearl pour on a round piece of wood. I don't actually know what type of wood it is. It's not ply, but um, I'm not sure. So I'm really happy, super pleased, and I hope you guys like this. Um, I'm going to have to leave it here to dry um, where it is. I won't be actually moving it. I probably may move it in the morning um, once I've had a chance to actually sleep. Let me, does that, no, I, makes the colours a little bit better. So I'll probably move this once I've um, left it overnight, so at least I know it's um, half drying. It's probably going to dry from the edges in a little bit, and then I'll just have the centre part that needs to finish off drying. But I hope you guys like this. Pearl pools are super fun. And like I said, you don't always know what you're going to get. And I may still get a little bit more of this center area fill in. But if it doesn't, I really don't mind. So, thanks everyone for watching. I hope you guys like this video. Let me know what you think. So comment, like, share and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you soon for another pour. Actually, let me see what happens if I turn this light off. It makes the bottom more colourful, but the top more silvery. Oh well. <laughs> Sometimes the lighting actually does make a difference. Alright, well, have a great evening, and I'll see you soon for another pour. Okay, bye.